Hi guys, this is Delanacion. Welcome back to my channel. I'm having an issue trying to delete a file on my desktop. Let's say this file can be on your desktop or anywhere, anywhere else. So let's uh, try to delete it. So let me show what's going on. When trying to delete this file, I'm getting this message. Item not found. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to go to your stats. Uh, menu and the start menu please type CMD CMD you should have this coming out just right click on it and uh, at the bottom run as an administrator to remember to remind you I'm using Windows 8 uh, so uh, it should be similar or just follow your step in Windows 7 or, or the previous version of Windows to get to to uh, to the CMD or the command prompt so I'm going to accept this as a yes so this, uh, there come this window. On this window, I'm gonna try to get to my desktop uh, uh, using my command prompt. So what we're going to do, we're gonna type CD and then percentage and then cap lock, just using cap letter. Or we're gonna type user profile. So user profile, just type as you see there on the screen. And then we're going to use another percentage. To, uh, sorry, we, we're going to use a percentage sign to close that, and then we're going to type a, uh, a backslash, then type desktop so to get to the desktop. So if this is well typed, you should get to this one here. If it's not, please check that you uh, write it exactly as I typed it there. So from here, I'm gonna ask you to type dear. Um, to, to, we want to see the files that we have on, uh, on our desktop before we try to, to delete the file giving us a problem. So what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to, to, to type a forward slash, we type x forward slash, we're going to type a, and then forward slash, we're going to type p. So we're going, we're having this. As you see, I have a, uh, the screen is small. I'm having so many files. So uh, as it says, press any key to continue. De it's going to depend on how many files you have on So we're going to just press the key to continue. I'm still going to look for the file that I am looking for. It's this one, uh, it's this one, uh, open square bracket, BT and, uh, and close square bracket, blah, 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 blah. So let's see. Uh, let me type another enter. Okay. So all the files that I am looking for are there. Let's see. The one I'm looking for is this one. So we are looking at this file. This is the file we want to delete. This bt uh, open bracket bt close bracket uh, and uh, open bracket animal lovers. Uh, we going to take this one. We're gonna take the name this one here. The name on this column. Not don't take that one. We we're taking this underscore bt uh, two time underscore a and then we have blah 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 and two. So what you're going to do? We, we're going to type there forward slash q forward slash s and then we type the name of the file. So I'm gonna put underscore bt double uh, two times underscore and then we put a and then we have that that funny. Uh, character and we have two so this is what you should do and then press enter so the file has been deleted as you can see there on the screen the file is not more is not more on my desktop so this is that these are the steps that you should take to delete the file if you cannot delete the file via Windows Explorer or via via your desktop like I was trying to do so I'm gonna uh, stop this video here. Please uh, subscribe and get uh, visit my channel to get more updated or more uh, tutorial. Take care. Bye.